on Video City TV. My name is Callie Ann at the Butterfly Buddha, one of your hosts. And I'm here in the Producers Club with Cheyenne Rockdale from Harlem. Thank you for Doing being it. here. No problem. So tell me about your music, who you are, and what you want to do with your music. With my music, I'm really trying to take over the world. Um, okay. I'm trying to get back to how hip hop used to be. I'm mm -hmm. trying to make it hot again. It's, you know, it's still hot now, but I want to get back to how it used to be. It used to be really fun. It was all about hip hop, our culture, the rap. It's, that's really what I'm trying to do. Okay, I love that. The confidence, embodying yeah. all of that, who you are. <laughs> okay, so what inspires you to want to do that and push through that? Is there something going on with the music now where you're like, uh, it needs to yeah. go back? For sure. Um, <laughs> hip hop, I feel like is not appreciated anymore. Mm. It's a lot of um, controversy going on. It's a lot of drama that's taken away from the music itself, um, the love, the culture, you know, what brings us together at the end of the day. It's just a lot of extra stuff that's um, going on right now. And I just want to bring it back to the music, the heart of, you know, what we fell in love with, you know, a long time ago and things like that. That's beautiful. So what kind of like hip hop music do you do? Um, I would say it's like um, Nicki Minaj, Lil Wayne, Foxy Brown, and um, Jay-Z. They're like my favorite artists of all time. So I really do like hardcore hip hop, um, rap. Um, I'm really into, you know, bars, um, metaphors, you know, wordplay, things like that. What's your like favorite, what's your favorite bar from like one of your raps? Can from you share a little bit? Yeah. Or, well, um, yeah, one of yours. We want to hear Cheyenne Raquel. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I would say my favorite one is. That's a hard question. <laughs> all, they're all I'm favorite. Go with turn music. They're all my favorite. And you I can't pick. <laughs> Get back to me on that one. You guys pick. So you know where to follow her. She's The Instagram name is right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been doing music for? Um, my entire life. I actually started out dancing. I was supposed to, I was had my heart set on opening up a dance school when I was three years old. So it was really funny. And then when I turned eight, out of nowhere, randomly, I just went in the kitchen and I started writing R&B. So I had my heart set on singing and, you know, doing R&B. And then once I got around 15, 16, 17, I just automatically fell in love with hip-hop and rap. So that's where, where I got that. into it. So you sing too. I do, but it's on hold a little bit because rap is really what's hot right now. And I'm, like, really into it. And it's fun. It's challenging. Um, that's, that's really what I'm into right now. Okay. What makes you want to write? Like, what kind of days do you have where you're like, I'm just going to sit here and write? Or is it something is, that, like, you have on schedule like I'm gonna write at this time every day is is normal it's natural I write like when I was younger like eight nine I used to write like 15 16 songs a day so it was really just in me to write um I'm really into when I was in school I was into English so I was into writing essays right just writing damn yeah. girl <laughs> yeah I love doing stuff like that typing so I it's just natural for me I don't really set a time like if I had the urge I just do it I don't care if I'm in a car I'll Sometimes I write while I'm driving, which is bad. Don't do it. <laughs> but um, I write everywhere I go. It is, I'll do it in my notes. I write it, you know, on notebook. I do it everywhere. I'll probably write after the interview. <laughs> it's, it's something I just do all day. I love that. Yeah. The inspiration. Yeah. Name three artists that you want to work with in the future. Ooh, Nikki, Foxy, and Wayne. Oh, you already Big heard time. it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Okay. Well, what motivates you to want to continue pushing for what you're pushing for? Um, I think it's just what I, I stand for in life. I've always said I aim to inspire. I feel like you should do what you love. Um, if you don't, life is chaos. I feel like, you know, dipping into your passion, you find your purpose. So that's just really what I do every day. So that's why I do what I do. Do you do performances and stuff? Yes, big time. I'm supposed to be going on tour soon. I have a, a show in Miami at the King of Diamonds in a few weeks. So I'm looking forward to that. I have a, I'm booked all the way until like the end of this year. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Make sure you guys check her out and follow her. We're about to show you her latest single. Is it a latest single? It's a video that's it's out. It's a video. It's a tribute to Foxy Brown. Okay. Yeah. It's called The Promise by Cheyenne Raquel. Check it out. Thank you.
God gave me this gift, I don't have to twerk shit Let's get into it, these bitches ain't really fluid They was trying to dummies, they puppets, these bitches stupid They dumb, they birds, they bums, they lost ones They don't know shit about shit, they just accept crumbs I know them 360 deals, y'all signing no fun I just dropped the label, oh, you're undone So nobody wanna write they raps Yeah, this an OGs, but without them, you wouldn't have jack Oh, look at you mad, I'm spitting facts I mean, shit, if the shoot, big bitch, go do the math I heard you feeling, so I'm out here giving crack So many balls on my back, bitch, this shit coming packs Hold on some real shit, I'm about to be on some chill shit Some rich shit, G shit, bitch, I am the gangstress I don't know how to stop, this is a habit I'm about to fuck the game up, yo, I'm wreaking havoc Okay, I be playing like all day I mean, I can keep the team winning, I am LeBron James Check it, check it, I don't want loose ends I came in this game with my team, oh, and with my pen Check it, check it, the universe on my necklace That means I got this game on lock And it's getting reckless, reckless, reckless You bitches all on my checklist Yeah, whack, it's a rap, eat rap, bitches for breakfast Oh my bad, no me to cause you pain The streets have been contacting me to straighten out the game mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm with it, I mean, I really does this shit Look at you rocking with it The streets said I got the sound, I got the voice Superhero shit, and I ain't talking toys This is filled with class, grace, and poise This right here is rap, y'all just making noise Like Foxy, I can murder them I can lyrically annihilate, murder them We can do it at night or broad day Either way, I'm shaking shit up I'm about to cause a craze Real talk is about to be lit talk That bitch talk, big talk, bitch We got that bag talk I'ma make sure I do this shit right This is not a threat, it's a promise So don't take it light Hey guys, we have Kizzy from Kizzy's Kitchen here for Video City at the Producers Club. Introduce yourself real quick. Hey, my name is Kizzy. Um, I formerly go by Kaya, but I prefer Kizzy. Mm-hmm. Um, I am a North native and I specialize in private catering and meal prep and also um, like big parties and events. Parties and catering and events. Yes. Funny story, I actually met Kizzy through a catering event. Yes. We were t- we were chopping it up um, behind the scenes earlier, and I was like, man, did I meet you at Bentley's, or where did I meet you? She was like, you don't remember? Yeah, don't remember. It was at a party. I'm like, party? Because I'm a foodie guy, so I'm like, was it was I eating? Or like, She's like, nah, you were actually one of the catering people. I'm like, okay. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> small world, because she's Every from Newark. World. I'm from Newark, and like I said, being a foodie, I'm really touched in with chefs, and you guys need to try Kizzy's food. She promised me some food so hopefully I get to try some later uh, <laughs> should I play like that? so tell me tell me how you got into culinary okay so I actually started doing culinary I used to watch like um Julia Child stuff on the season I watched Julia Child on Emerald on channel 13 I don't know if y'all remember that no I don't remember that <laughs> right before I went to school mm-hmm. and I used to love like watching them cook and then on top of that my dad is like very seasoned in cooking and mm-hmm. he's like a Georgia native so it made me want to get into the culinary field even more okay so George does uh does southern food inspire a lot of what you do that's what Kizzy's Kitchen is it's basically yeah. southern food yeah okay now what is your favorite thing to cook from the south favorite thing to make is chicken and waffles Oh! Ah, you do regular waffles or red velvet ones? <laughs> I saw her make some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw on your page you had like some fruity pebble waffles. Yes. Now. I do fruity pebble. I do, un, I do um Oreo. Oh I God. Do, but I like my. Guys, my basic. I'm like, I'm out this water. I like the basic because <laughs> the basic is always the best. I like to do a nice Belgian waffle mm. with a, a beautiful fried southern chicken. It has to be um, dipped in buttermilk before you see my it. face? And then I drizzle it with a nice honey butter sauce to go on the top. The way I'm looking at you right now. You don't need no syrup for it. The way I'm looking at you right now. Like, don't do this to me. <laughs> now, I think... Um, I think from, from what I'm hearing, I think your favorite part might be creating the menu? Yeah. Okay. How do you go through the process of creating a menu? I know your menu changes weekly. Always. Well, the way I go about it is I basically look at what people like. Okay. I also like things that I like enjoy. I like to do new things with menus, and I mesh them together. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I do surveys to see if people are going to like certain things that mm-hmm. are on the menu, and then I bring it to the menu for people to taste. So I'm bringing you a new experience from what you want and what I want to bring you. So Ooh, so it's like a collab, and every, yes. every dish is like a collab of yes. what you know they're going to like, and, and also, what yes. I bring to you. Okay. Okay. So now I'm excited. <laughs> you said you brought 
me some food. So now I'm excited to see it. <laughs> what? I bought you a bath too. Huh? A bath. I bought you a bath too. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just getting spoiled today. I'm telling y'all, if y'all don't know about Kizzy, you need to order some of her food because it's, this is really going to change your life. Yes. Now, what is it? Um, what, would I, what can we expect from you? This so year. Um, this year coming up, I actually have a women's retreat coming in July. It's for the weekend of July. It's going to be for um, young girls, basically girls that are sort of troubled. Mm -hmm. And we're bringing them all together. We're going to make them a nice Perks Fix menu. But it's also going to be, it's going to be their food, the food that they like, because it's like from the ages of 11 to 19. Ooh. But we're going to make it nice and fancy for them so that they have like basically a fine dining experience. Yeah. We're doing this in D.C., and then the next one we're doing next year is going to be in Jamaica. So, yes. Okay. I also where, are you, where are you from? Like, what's, your, what's, your, what's your background? You're Trini. Yes. Ah! <laughs> Yo, I've been running into so many Trinis lately. It's yeah. not even funny. I'm also doing, um, I don't know if you heard DJ Dutchie's big pool party. No, I didn't hear about that. Yes, I'm going to be catering for that event as well. Big so things. Big that's things. Yeah. Give, me some, um, give me some highlights of, you know, where Kizzy's Kitchen has been. Okay. Kizzy's Kitchen started at home, basically. Now, like, I've actually had the privilege. Now, Trey Songz is my favorite artist. I've had the mm -hmm. privilege of making desserts for him. I've had the privilege of cooking. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Dead Serious when he came to Jersey. <laughs> and I missed this incredible experience. Yes, Dead Serious. I've had the privilege of getting into places that I never imagined. Networking? I only, yes, basically just dreaming about it and making it come to fruition. Networking and manifesting. Beautiful. Are you spiritual? Beautiful. I knew it. So, I felt it. So. Okay. You read it. Ah, you read it. <laughs> You're thinking it in here and it's yes, coming out out here. Everywhere. Now, I know a lot of us do have a mentor. Do you have any mentors that you would like to highlight what, what you've learned from them? Okay, so I am 28. I just turned 28. Okay. But I, thank you. I've been doing everything by myself. Okay. I recently started working with this great chef named Mark. Okay. And he's basically showing me like the scientific parts to everything. And it's like, it's beautiful. The yeah. experience is beautiful because I'm so used to doing things by myself mm -hmm. and actually having someone guide me and teach me things. It's bringing it to a whole nother level. A whole nother level. Because they, they know the pitfalls they know, yes. and they know what to pass on without you having to go through it yourself. Yes. Very beautiful. And I appreciate it like to the fullest. Okay. <laughs> so I'm excited to know um, like where you're going to, did I ask you already where, what you're going to be doing for the rest of the year? Like what? Uh, yeah. Okay. But for the rest of the year, I'm basically going to be building the business, marketing way more, and networking more. COVID. That's what was on my mind. COVID. Girl. And, okay, specifically being a black business owner, specifically a woman, and COVID. Now, break that down for me, and then give me a gem, and we're going to close it out there with hopefully this food. <laughs> COVID had me, actually COVID was my highest point. Okay. It showed me how to hustle more. Okay. Me As more many people. Yes. Like all the hustlers came out during COVID and I thought that was beautiful. It made me want to bring out Kizzy's Kitchen more because I knew there wasn't any, any, any DoorDash coming around at the time. And at the same time, like Kizzy's Kitchen experience, you're going to get restaurant food on the go. Mm. And I, I make sure like the food is top tier. I don't play nothing about it from, from the taste to the look to the smell. Look at her face. She's serious, I, guys. I don't, I don't play games about my food. Y'all can tell. I don't play games about eating food. <laughs> but COVID was amazing to me. Even though it was hard, it was mm -hmm. amazing because it brought Kizzy's Kitchen to its height. Yes. Yes, I like that. You know, a lot of uh, I'm probably going to do a series that's focusing on black restaurants with COVID. Yes. So I will bring you back on for that okay. because I think it's important to know like people looked at COVID as okay, businesses are going to fail. A lot of businesses did fail. But the ones that prevailed, I feel like anything that's going to come your way in the next five years, ten years, you're going to be able to handle it exactly. because you experienced and thrived exactly. through COVID. Exactly. So it probably made your brand even that much more stronger and dependable, the fact that people could still order from you and still expect to get their food on time uh, and in a taste tasteful manner. Yeah, because I have people now that order meal prep for me because they know that I'm always going to pull through. So Y'all heard that she does meal prep, yes. catering, private events. Happen with my girl Kizzy. I want to close out with give us something inspirational for aspiring chefs. I personally know a couple people who want to get they're younger, like around the 13 year old age that want to get into culinary. What can you tell them that can help them? Um, don't be afraid to mess up. Like you're gonna mess up, and sometimes the mistakes are what make you you. Like believe me, I messed up so many times, but the end result in me messing up has been like. Beautiful. And I'm proud to say that I'm where I'm at now, just from the mistakes that I made. Okay. 
<laughs> I love it. I love it. You know, failing success is not the way to success. Yes. It's the failures along the way to success that make you successful. Yes. It's always a story behind something. You don't get there right away. You have to fight for it. So. Mm -hmm. Gotta fight for it, guys. <laughs> now let's bring out the food. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's see. Oh, we got lemonade. <laughs> see, this is how you treat your host, right? And I have uh, some, uh, I think it's lime rice. What? And it's a mango sauce on the top. Now, the mango is really ripe. Okay. So it's nice. It's, it's nice and sweet. with the shrimp. Yeah. And I have some Frito shrimp for you. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm going to eat the shrimp only because you made it specifically for me. I'm not allergic to shellfish, but, you know, I, I, I'm not allergic. It's just, you know. <laughs> but look, if, if I like this shrimp, then you know it's good because I don't really mess with shrimp. So let me get that fork. <laughs> Bring out the fork. <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie to you guys. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. Make sure you wash it down with oh, the I'm sorry, guys. Just so wash you can see, look at my beautiful food right here. I'm trusting you. <laughs> Don't eat. I gotta take the tail yes, off, take right? the tail off, yes. See, that's how you know. <laughs> that's how you know you eat. I'm looking at it like, is this a tail? <laughs> yeah, just grab it. <laughs> it's not, it's freaking good. Thank you. Hey, this is good. Thank you. So this is my, mm, this is my, oh, Thank drop you. my fork. This is my dinner tonight, guys. <laughs> Don't forget to wash it down. I'm going to wash it down. Hey, hey, that's strawberry raspberry lemonade. How do we close out? I got all the flavors, guys. Yes. Y'all need to order Kizzy. <laughs> We're in New York, but she's based in New Jersey. Yes. Close New us Jersey. out. Tell them, tell them when they should be ordering. Um, okay, so... What's on the menu this week? That's how we're going to close. June 25th is the start of the menu. I have pineapple bowls. I have oxtail sliders. Mm. I have seafood shells. And I have... What else is on that menu? It's a lot of stuff. You, you want This try. should be on the menu, guys. Oh, that's that's on the menu. Yes, it's on there. But I'm it's not lying. This is actually really good. Shrimp. Thank you. It's called Wild and Fiery Shrimp. Um, the menu starts June 25th, and I'm going to be doing that menu every weekend until August 31st. So... You can place those orders on at Kizzy's Kitchen on Instagram. Yes. Thank you, guys. I'm your favorite foodie. I'm Jules Alizé. We have Kizzy's Kitchen here. She will be back. I'm doing a segment on black restaurants during COVID. You better bring some more food or else I'm kicking you off the show. <laughs> Thank you, Kizzy. Um, like I said, Video City, we're at the Producers Club. Thanks for coming. And I'm awakening with my help. I don't know where to go. It's like I'm fighting myself, but I want to find myself so I can be complete. Right. Make two ends meet from everything that I see. I'm on a lonely journey. I keep moving. No matter what you throw at me, you can't stop or even try to tame this beast. I'm top notch, and everything that I claim to speak. So I'ma speak my piece, cause I'm awake. Doing things in different days, turning different ways I'm on a different page, it's a different face And I'm in the maze and I'm feeling days. Yeah, I feel the pain, I got my mind going insane So I'm here to blame, well I entertain And I'm for the money and for the fame And I won't stop till you know the name And you'll know my name like it's necessary I bring the focus on legendary, never hold it back So I interact and I spit the facts You need to remember that, cause I'll run it back Let you ponder that, go squander that And you can send a fax, go send a letter And I spit on any given measure And it's quite my pleasure, cause I do my best And I do my thing, fuck what you hurt, I'm in your your brain things are changing now you in the game so what you gonna do and what you gonna prove
who will listen to you, who will support you from everything you do. And I'll come with a crew, and if I can't make do, and I'll make my dues, peer pressure. No time to refuse, no time to lose, and all I do is win, and that's where I've been, so you know it. Staying laser focused, got my mind on the prize, eyes over wide, and I'm feeling alive, and I'm chasing time, but it never stops, and I'll make it drop, and I'll keep my spot, and I'll stay on top, and I give what I got, cause I'm looking for the goat, and I'm searching for the pot. I'm praying for myself, and I'm awakening with my health. I don't know where to go, it's like I'm fighting myself, but I wanna find myself. So I can be complete right. Make two wins meet From everything that I see I'm on a lonely journey I keep moving, moving. No matter what you throw at uh -huh. me You can't stop, stop Or even try to tame this Never. beast I'm top notch, notch And everything that I claim to speak yeah. So I'ma speak my peace Cause I'm awake I'm praying for myself praying. And I'm awakening with my help uh -huh. I don't know where to go It's like I'm fighting myself But I wanna find myself So I can be complete right. Make two wins meet from Everything that I see, I'm on a lonely journey I keep moving, no matter what you throw at me You can't stop, or even try to tame this beast I'm top notch, and everything that I claim to speak So I'ma speak my peace, cause I'm awake do my thing and I'm doing my dirt and I'm about my work and I'm about my turf and I'm about my money and I'm about my name it ain't never changed and I remain the same and I live the game so where's the shame live no regrets and I breathe respect and I give my best but it's east to west and I come collect like a bill collector and I'm waking to a different sector and I bring the weather like I bring the storm the name is born and I transform from the day you scorn you ain't never more you just act a torn so why you hate you need to appreciate or meditate on a situation that you instigate there's no time for fakes so just keep it real keep yourself on a different wheel cause it's gonna spin well it never ends so you know the cycle on where it's been It's a different blend in a different way from a different day No time for shade, no time for games, no time for names I gotta do my thing, I gotta make it rain While I make the change and you know it man Too hard to tame and I'll make it work And it got birth and you the witness To my work and it's finished A masterpiece on a master sheet So you can sign a release and make it straight And this is what I see from the days we're creeping There's no time to sleep and every day is bleak And I'm feeling weak and I'm trying to keep my peace I'm praying for myself and I'm awakening with my health I don't know where to go It's like I'm fighting myself but I want to find myself so I can be complete Make two wins me from everything that I see I'm on a lonely journey I keep moving, moving. no matter what you throw at uh -huh. me You can't stop, stop or even try to tame this Never. beast I'm top notch. notch and everything that I claim to speak So I'ma speak my piece cause I'm a weak I'm Keys Will and you're watching Video City Number one cause the street says so Go down low, go down low Baby girl, go down low Baby girl, go down low Go down low, go down low Baby girl, go down low Baby girl, go down low Yeah, that's a walk over Walk, walk, walk over Yo, she get it low like the temperature, body so cold You know I stay on my grind, baby, I break the mold The game to be sold, but not to be told But you feelin' my vibe, baby, let's get it on Hot up in this club, checking out your dress Touching on your body, your curves, yeah, you blessed I'm sitting looking at the rest, I'm trying to get more But you dropping your body, you steady dropping your body She getting low on the flow when I come around I guess she heard about my past and how I get down Now she got me in the corner, back to the wall We sweating hard, we touching, we loving, we cutting, baby, we get low Go down low, go down low Baby girl, go down low Baby girl, go down low I guess she heard about my past and how I get down. She steady dropping her body, she steady dropping her body, she steady dropping her body, she steady dropping her body. She getting low on the flow when I come around. I guess she heard about my past and how I get down. You steady dropping your body, 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 I'm gone.
Carlito Black, a.k.a. Mr. Ball Slay for No Life, and you tuned in with Video City, number one, because the street says so, you hear it? Upload all three and tag Collins and tell him we got another one. I'm convinced I post a flick, it's hard to miss. It's so legit, I know my ex gon' reminisce. Still wishing we could hold hands, but I wouldn't even put him in my close friends, no chance. It ain't a chance, oh boy was faithful to his pride, so I've been faithful to my craft and curving dudes like Lincoln Drive. Slutting timelines like Katrina did in 2005. You gon' sprout and see this glow require shades, don't be surprised. Swagger on, I hit a leg, eh. Hit me like the skeleton trap, eh. But only when I'm on the plane, the drip is too insane, hard to not admit, eh. Yeah, you bound to get equipped. You look like we made a hit. If Instagram allowed you to rate servant, then I'd probably get a tip. Hold oh, up. Give me a 